Hey, hope everyone's doing well. I uh, just wanted to try out something new. wanted to start reviewing vinyl art figures. Uh, I got into the, the hobby about three years ago, and Ron English was definitely one of the first people, first artists that got me into collecting. So it all started with me just looking at this. I saw the Ron English smiley grin. I looked up smiley face skeleton on Google, and eventually I came up with Ron English, and it was over. I just had to have a piece of Ron English's art. And uh, this isn't one of my first pieces, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the Ron English OG colorway smiley grin. Uh, this came out 2012, and you could have gotten it for 150 sign on Ron English's website, Propaganda. Uh, now, however, I think the latest one I've seen still on eBay was close to 500 or more, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was able to purchase this one about two three years ago and uh i got it for around 350 from someone i purchased figures from before and um and i like this so much and i couldn't just i couldn't take it out the bag but i wanted to display it next to my other bar so i had to get another one which i did right around the same time and uh yeah no no regrets absolutely no this regrets. piece actually came out after running the street was featured in an episode of simpsons with uh, other street artists like uh kenny sharp and uh, shepherd fairy uh, pers famous for Obey clothing and the artwork and uh, Shepard Fer and um, not Shepard Fairy I'm sorry uh, Kenny Sharp he actually came out with a bar piece himself and I actually have it and I'll do a review later down in the future too that's actually one of my favorite pieces too it's it's got a lot of detail a lot of colors going on with the box art it's actually a really nice piece um, but yeah Ronnie just came out with this after being in one of the Simpsons episodes and since it's one of my favorite favorite things to watch at the time, it's still one of my favorite shows of all time, right up there with King of the Hill and South Park. So I had when I seen these pieces, I just had to get them. Uh, he has a few other colorways with uh, the bark grin, and I do have a few other one, uh, a few other bark grins too that I'll be reviewing. But yeah, for now, uh, we're just looking at this one for today. And I would say that each grin uh, is very unique in its own. I personally love the detail on this one. I feel like. I don't know. I feel even. I know he has different bark rings himself, but you can tell uh, when we look at the close-ups on this one and the other bark rings that we have. Uh, you can just tell the difference in the grin, and even other grins. Every I say every grin is unique in its own way. Every Ron English grin that he comes out with. I personally don't own every one, but uh, from the ones I own, I would say every one is unique in its own way. You know, a lot of these famous cartoons and animations, they have these smiles that stretch out literally from ear to ear. And you know, even though these are unrealistic outside of the animated worlds, uh, Ron English actually brings these smiles to life in his grin art, which is actually one of my favorite things about these grins. So I'll be trying to get a review out to you guys every week. This is just more to just to let people know how the grins look, if they're ever curious about buying one, uh, interested in seeing one up close, uh, the details. Uh, that's what I kind of want to just show people. Uh, I love sharing. I love sharing these things, and I love seeing other people share them. So uh, yeah, thank you.